Yo, what's good, guys? We back at it again, uh, the Runaways Inc. podcast. Today, I'm joined by my brother, Malik. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Big Body in the building, man. I'm joined with my brother, Logan. What's good, y'all? And today, we will be talking about what we want to be known as in the future before we die. So, yeah. we'll start this out first. I roll I mean, with you. Who want to start off first? I got you. All right. So basically, I want to be left off in this world. So when I die, I want to be known as someone who put an impact on the world, who helped the younger generation, and who saved at least a couple lives. Like who, who at least you know help people wake up in the morning. You know, like show inspiration. You know that you you're not worthless. You actually have, you can do whatever you want in this world if you really want to. You know. Yeah. Um, me, I. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yes. All right, but me, I want to be known as before. What I want to be known as before I leave this world is I want to be known as a person that helped people and that played fairly. You know what I'm saying? That played the game of life fairly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I worked hard for what I got, and I didn't use no shortcuts. I didn't use none of that shit. I didn't need help. You know what I'm saying? I want to be known as a guy that did his own shit, that did his own thing. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I want to be known as the, as the nigga that, like, that, that, I don't... To be honest, I feel like other. I feel like I can't. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I can save people's lives, but as Logan said, though, I want people to hear my voice and want and want to wake up the next day because uh, me basically, right? Mm-hmm. Like I want I want people to to like be like, oh hey, he makes it a little bit easier for me to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. at least I have something to look forward to from his Even voice. Even the you know what I'm didn't matter so much. Facts and um, that's yeah. that's the person that I want to be known as. Yo, that's I like that. I like that. I want to be remembered as a person. I want to be known for not caring about anyone's opinion of me because I don't care. And I want I want to be able to teach and motivate other people to realize that about themselves because that's another reason why so many people to this day are depressed and have anxiety and are suicidal because you're too busy worrying about what someone else is thinking of you you shouldn't want to impress anyone else but yourself because at the end of the day you matter above all else you know what i'm saying like i want people to be able to realize and remember that they shouldn't care about anyone else's opinion of themselves because they know where they're going in their life i want to be able to inspire people to find their self-worth and find what they're good at and to excel at it i want to be able to motivate motivate the youth elders i want to be able to motivate everyone not not just a specific age group i want to be able to be known as a person who didn't care about anyone's opinion and was trying to inspire people i want to have I want to bring joy to the world and try to have an impact to the point where decades upon decades later, people will still talk about me in the future generations and say how I motivated people, how I tried to help everyone, everyone. And it doesn't matter what race, skin color, gender, species, everyone. I want everyone to be to feel loved and feel like they're important. Like I want I want everyone to be able to know that they're worth something and know that they're not just here just to you know live and shrivel up and die i want people to be able to realize that they can excel at something whatever the talent is they should work on that talent to try to excel and become better at it and make something of themselves with that talent all right i want i want to be able to i want to help people evolve within themselves I feel like I feel like in order for people to actually start like 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 portraying that talent as something that they want to do I feel like they would need the right motivation not the right motivation but like the right the right encouragement you know what I'm saying by the right people like their family yeah for example exactly you, know you said who for example their family yeah but you know what though you, you got to remember not Sometimes 
family is like sometimes family can bring you down sometimes family can hold you back it's times where family i'm gonna say this just because you blood don't always make you family yeah because because you can be disowned and you can be disrespected by your own family like you can be told you could be told that you ain't gonna be shit, shit in life from someone that's the same flesh and blood as you. Right. Yeah, that, that's true. Like, that that's true. That's why I say I, I want to be remembered as someone who don't care about no one's opinion. You should never care about anyone's opinion of you, even if it's coming from your own family. Right. right. Especially, especially if they're trying to give you a negative output. To something that you're trying to do positive if you're trying to do something positive and they try to make it seem like you're and they try to give you negative output on it you shouldn't care about that opinion it should be relevant to you matter of fact what what people need to learn to do is take the bits of information from every negativity that every time they hear something negative take the information out of it the constructive criticism take that out of it and use that to better yourself but at the same time don't let the negativity bring you down to the point where you feel like you're nothing i don't mean to pitch in or like interrupt you but i feel like i also feel like that's true you know what i'm saying and also for me at least i know that sometimes when i get like motive like i get my motivation sometimes right from people that tell me i won't be shit in life because that just makes me want to prove them wrong you know what i'm saying that makes me yeah wanna... yeah yeah you can also want to prove people wrong but at the end of the day the best thing you could do to get them the best thing you could do to get at them just just show them you don't give a fuck show them that you don't care and keep moving you know what i'm saying keep striving for the at your goals and your dreams but also just brush off all the negativity to the side don't even care about it Act like it doesn't exist in your life. Because I'm telling you, negativity, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. Negativity can turn, negativity can evolve into hurt feelings. Hurt feelings can evolve into depression. Depression can evolve into anxiety. Anxiety can, can evolve into suicide. All right, bro. Speaking of like of families and like and like motivation and encouragement right mm -hmm. I, I remember i'm not gonna say in their app but like somebody dm'd me right i have mm -hmm. i have a private spam account that's for like deep thoughts type like a like a mood account you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and somebody dm me saying that they um that they uh they, they they came out to their family and friends saying that they were bi right like bisexual mm-hmm and then their friends were acting like they didn't even know her and her and mom's now sending her into a private school because like you know like one of those catholic private schools you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and she she asked me for advice not advice but like she just wanted to get that off her chest right mm -hmm. and i i I, I, not, I don't remember exactly what i told her but i know it went along the lines of me saying like the best you you already did the first hardest step right like the first hardest step is is coming out to your family about anything right or or or, or telling your family anything right but after mm -hmm. that after that first step it's easier and you want to know why it's easier because look it's easier because of this you don't even have to do much all you got to do is if they don't accept it right if they don't accept you as a person that's on them you know what i'm saying like that's not on you that's not that's not for you to feel like oh i gotta make them accept you know what i'm saying because if they don't accept right. you, that just shows the type of person they are and they will be. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, that's that's basically the advice I told her. Yeah, that's that's good, man. Like, you know, I had I've had a few friends in my life that told me that they wanted to die and told me that they want to kill themselves. What I always told them was don't rob yourself of your of your full potential and your destiny because even though it may get hard at times you got to remember what doesn't kill you makes you stronger you got to be able sometimes you have to use your own wits and your own will to be able to push through things and you can't always go go through shit like this alone you got to have someone you could talk to you got to have you got to have a friend 
Not all, cause I'm not gonna say family, cause family, do, family don't always help these situations. I right. say you really gotta have like you gotta have a good friend that you really tight with that you could tell anything to. Like, like for instance, say 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 I call you one day, Bryce. Right. Right. And I tell you, I tell you I'm going through something. I'm pissed off, and I want to and I want to kill someone or kill myself. I gotta be. I, I, cause I can't just go through that alone. So right. other people, you can't always go through things alone, and you shouldn't always want to rely on substances. You can't just drink your pain away or smoke your pain away. Like right. Right. sometimes it helps, but at the end of the day, when you sober up, that pain is gonna come right back. All you doing is numbing it for later. And when it comes that's back, numbing mechanism. When and when it comes back, it's gonna it's gonna hurt worse. It's gonna hurt worse because deep down inside, you know you were trying to avoid that feeling, and now that it's back, it's even worse to you. You can destroy yourself. Don't. One thing I say is don't ever let depression or any type of sadness in your life control your life. Don't let the negativity control you. Or make you into something that you're not. Don't let your environment define who you are, who who you meant to be. Don't let don't let what's going on in your environment affect you to the point where you destroy your life. Trying to make it better. There's a uh, right way. Of, there's a right way of doing things and a wrong way of doing things. A lot of people in in my environment are doing are doing things the wrong way in life, but they're making it right now. You know, and you can't hate on that. And that's another thing I want to I want to get get down. Um, don't don't let greed don't let greed or jealousy control you either. In fact, if you see someone doing better than you, you shouldn't want to steal from them or kill them for what they have. You should want to work for it and try to earn earn it yourself. All right, use that as motivation. Yeah, if you see someone in a nice car and you walk into a, to, to the bus stop, that should motivate you. And even though you may be on a bus to work, that should motivate you to want to do some extra hours at work. All right. Just All right, so, just so you, just so you can make just so you can make that extra money for that nice car. Right. Or get a better car, you know? Maybe that maybe that seeing that car wants you get you motivated to want to get an even better car than that. You like Hey, I'm gonna have an even par- even better car than that one day, you know? I'm yeah. gonna be that guy sitting there, the kids are gonna be staring at me, you know? Instead of saying, instead of looking at it through the mindset of, oh, good luck for, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of looking at it in the mindset of, like, wow, I'd never get there one day, right? You should look at it mm-hmm. in a mindset of, like, if he could do it and he's blood, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a human being. And I saw him at his lowest, and then now he got a car, you know what I'm saying? That should be like I'm at my lowest, and I think I could. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it's important. Yeah, the best, the best, the best thing you could do to get to success, for one, you gotta see yourself in that success first before you, yeah. before you become successful. You gotta see yourself doing that. You gotta see yourself succeeding in that first. You have to think it and see it and see it in your and see it in your mind first. Yo, because where your mind goes, your body follows. You got to be able to right. think yourself into that situation first and then see how it plays out physically. It starts also, off mentally would, and then it becomes physical. Right. Ah. So I would I would say like all right, if you, for, for example, if you're trying to start a podcast, right? Or if you're trying to if you're trying to rap, right? Or in, and trying to mm. distribute your podcast or music to the, like random like to, to a wider a wider range of people, right? I would say instead of just going in there like full charge, I feel like one of those steps are like actually sitting down and looking up what to do you know what i'm saying like for example mm-hmm. me with this podcast i looked i sat down you know what i'm saying i thought about it i saw myself in the position i thought about it i sat down and i started looking up like tutorials how to make a podcast what you do in a podcast you know what i'm saying what, what type of topics to talk about you know what i'm saying yeah and i feel like i feel like it's important to like actually do your research if you're serious about something you know what i'm saying like you shouldn't go charging in there like 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 oh yeah, like I feel like you should go charging and then like oh yeah I'm gonna do this you know what I'm saying but do it wisely and smartly you know what I'm saying yeah because uh, there is 
there is no shortcuts to success. You know what I'm saying? Even with rap, yeah. in a way, because look, you make a you make a future with Drake, right? That's like a mm -hmm. that's like a cheat code. Like after that, right? People after that, like then what? You know what I'm saying? Like you got to keep the grind up. You got to keep your music up. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to yeah. keep that keep that status of popularity or to keep being relevant in 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 the in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even even in that way, there's still no shortcuts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I like what you just said, bro. I I, I like that. I like I like to kill input. When we first started the podcast, well, not even mm -hmm. a little like maybe about a couple weeks ago. Bryce, me and Bryce were talking in a group, like in a uh, call, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember him saying that we were talking about like something along the lines of like when we can't like ugh, something along the lines of what we want to be like what we want to do before we die like something important we want to do before we die right and bryce you want right. how, mm -hmm. how he wants to at least prove to me oh yeah that this podcast can get far like and he and i asked him why and he said because and I quote, you're literally proving you're literally putting your future in my hands. So I want to be I want to prove to you that I can get you somewhere in the world and that you trust me to do this. And that 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 really motivate motivates me actually cuz he me and Bryce he's he's like my brother. Me and him are like family. We're we're that close. We're tight, you know? I trust him for everything. Every time I have some sort of problem, I go to him, you know? Yeah, Bryce, Bryce, Bryce is calling me his brother now too because because our yeah. conversations. Yeah, Bryce, uh, Bryce really motivates me. Like the whole thing that he's literally wants me to get far, and that he sees potential in me is really motivating. Knowing that someone else in the world actually wants to get you somewhere and will get you somewhere is really yeah, that's, that's always it, gonna be motivation. He motivated me a little bit too because, you know, you you uh when he first met me, I was kind of just roasting people like being funny, and like he told he he hit me up like telling me like I should make I should like do I should do like a uh, make make a spam page or like a comedy page. He made me a spam page and everything. He said I should start doing comedy. Yeah, bro. hello. <laughs> All yeah. around, he's just a helpful person, and him being there for me for all these years really motivates me to want me to get up in the morning and know that hey, I'm still part of the podcast. I'm still here hanging out with Bryce. You know, he's got my back. I got his back. You know, having someone that's that tight to you, it it hasn't. It doesn't even have to be Bryce. Just having someone that tight to you that you can wake up and know that they got your back no matter what happens, through thick and through thin, that they got your back and they're always gonna be there for you. It's that real shit. That's that shit that's really gonna help you through, you know? That's what's right. that really motivates me in the morning. You know? Yeah. Oh, hey, also. Right. Yeah. Uh, what? Since we in this podcast, what about me motivates you, bro? Oh, bet. We doing this. All right, bet. Yo, to be <laughs> honest, right? I feel like I told you this before, all right? But like, what motive? All right, you're you're like a big brother to me. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like I look up to you with so many things. You know what I'm saying? And like when I see you doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? I I don't want to I don't want to say you're a fatherly figure to me, but like that's kind of what it is. Like I look up to you. You know what I'm saying? So when I see you doing stuff and handling certain situations, right? Mm -hmm. It makes me it makes me want to want want to handle situations more maturely. It makes me want to correct myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It makes me wanna. It, it makes me wanna actually be, like, because I, because I could see your energy. You know what I'm saying? Your energy is bright and it's it's it's, it's fun. It's, it's it's like basically yellow, right? I like I like to describe energies as like colors, right? Yellow is like a very yellow is basically spring, right? It's sunny, awesome, right? But like. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, just like spring, you still have your bad moments and you still have your irrational moments, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, right. that's like that's like raining in spring. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I don't I don't I don't I don't know if this is like how you feel also, but I feel like with me being there and with you being there, right? 
we're mm-hmm. we're helping each other with the rains to help grow flowers and green grass. You know what I'm saying? Quick question. Yeah. Just from the fact of like energy, what energy do you see for me? Just a note. I see I see a blue energy for you. Is that bad or good? When I think of when I think of Logan, I see blue energy. It's like snow. Snow is very pretty. You know what I'm saying? Snow, it's untouched snow, right? Racist. It sparkles. It's, it's basically. It's, it's you talking about racist? <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically ice, right? Like like ice on a chain, right? It sparkles. You know what I'm saying? Untouched mm-hmm. snow in the sun sparkles, right? Mm-hmm. But like racist, bro. But like. <laughs> As I said, like, the only reason why I see you as being blue, right, and I compare you to winter, right, is because you're, you're, I'm not gonna, why? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna expose you, right, but like, I'm, but no, <laughs> I'm not gonna, no, no, I'm not go gonna, ahead, go ahead, I don't really care, honestly, I want your full, honest opinion. Because, alright, I feel like you have a lot more deeper issues, like, than you're telling, you know what I'm saying, and I feel mm-hmm. like, and you know how, like, in winter, sometimes you got ice rain, you know what I'm saying? Icy mm-hmm. rain? Or hell? No, not, yeah, hell, too. And on the right? surface, it looks normal, but, like, there's more deeper behind it. No, not even that, but, like, you know how spring, but, like, we have thunderstorms, right? That's, that's mm-hmm. our, that's me and, that's me and Malik's anger, right? Mm-hmm. Our anger is compared to a thunderstorm, right? Your, your depression, your, your motivation, your sadness, right? That's, mm-hmm. like an icy storm right you know what i'm saying like yeah there's no thunder you know what i'm saying but like it's it, it's it comes it's down it's a hail storm yeah it, it, it comes down and when it comes down it, it breaks you know what i'm saying and i feel like i feel like that's why i compare you to snow and that's why i see your energy as blue Dang, that really ripped off my thumb that's yeah it actually but, makes no, a lot more I, sense too, now that I think about it. Yeah, and I, I also feel like if you guys need like a relationship, like it doesn't even have to be a dating relationship, you know what I'm saying? But if you guys need like a like a like a friendship or something, right? I feel like the first step to do and I know some of you guys are like like anti social or not, right? Mm-hmm. But like the first I'm step. Really, to do, I'm not really anti I'm, I'm not, not anti social at all. I'm, not you, I'm talking to the um to the viewers. Like, oh, I know yeah, some, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know some of you guys were like antisocial, right? But like, I feel like the first step to actually finding a relationship in a bond, like me, Logan, and Malik, I feel like the first part of that is actually by going out there and finding somebody new. And it doesn't even have to, like, me and Malik, we never met each other, right? So it doesn't. We've never be, met in person, bro. Exactly, we never met in person. So it doesn't even have to be like that, right? But if you. But we're want, gonna meet in person one day because he's coming to job crew with me. Yeah, job for it. <laughs> and yeah, um, is I feel like the first step is actually going out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't like it's it's okay to be shy. It's okay to be nervous. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's telling you you're wrong for feeling that way. But like, as long as you go put those feelings, like like I'm nervous talking to new people every day. I don't know if I'm gonna get along with them. I don't know if they're gonna think of me. You know what I'm saying? But like once you once you realize that you really don't give a fuck what people think of you, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of people say, oh, I really don't give a fuck what people think of me, but still be anti-social, right? I feel mm-hmm. like some people, I feel like the people that really believe, like, I don't give a fuck about you, what your opinion of me is, yeah. right? It's like those mm-hmm. people are the people that will go out there and talk to more people, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys right now, don't let nobody's opinion change. Change because you want to change. You know what I'm saying? Change for you. That's like that's like doing successful things. Don't do it for somebody else. Do it because you want to do it too. All right? Right. And on that note, like just a side note on that. Don't do stuff that you think will please other people. Do stuff that pleases you. Don't yeah, yeah. Do you think it's gonna make you popular. You yeah. Know, don't you, don't ever don't ever strive don't ever strive to get clout or attention off of, off of doing something off of doing something stupid or, or or dangerous like don't try to don't try to show off don't try to show off just to become be considered cool and popular like all right i know this one person but it's not you know don't don't do shit that will make i know i know i know i know i know some people i know some people that like to wait to like to wave around guns and stuff just to show off in front of girls 
and like and like that stuff like that. Bro. You said what? That means the most pussiest people. I don't give a fuck. Like real talk though. Like hey, oh, and, and by the way, people. I know everyone is using guns nowadays, but I want to I want to ask a question in this podcast right now. Anyone and if y'all comment on this or whatever, I want you to give me a full honest opinion. If you have a gun and someone is coming up to you, you got problems with, are you going to fight that person or try to end their life if if they're unarmed? Cause nowadays a lot of people are using guns and a lot of people not trying to run the fade no more. No, are you? Are you do y'all remember um what's it called? Uh, Friday, the movie Friday. When uh, yeah. Craig tried to grab the gun to fight um what's his name? Oh yeah, uh, like Debo. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the lesson his dad taught him. Y'all remember that shit? You win some, you lose some, but you live to fight another day. Exactly. There you go, man. You don't have to kill someone to win a fight. You're not big shit because you know how to pull a trigger. You're big shit, but you got real hands. But you gotta understand yeah. though, right? You gotta anyone, be open minded to see the their point of view. So I feel like one. I feel like their point. My bad for interrupting, but I feel like their point of view is like they have to, like they don't know any other situation. They're too focused on their pride to actually take that aspect. You know what I'm saying? They're too focused on their pride of gr- of what girls think of them. You know what I'm saying? They're too focused on their pride of what people think of them in general, right? And those are the people you just gotta look at them and be like, you're insecure. You know what I'm saying? I'm obviously not if I'm willing to scrap with you, right? Right. But like, I don't know how to explain. It's like, you, I don't know. I just, they're just, I feel like those type of people are really insecure inside. Yeah, I agree. Fact. And what you were saying, and what you were saying, like don't do shit, just like do shit for you, don't do shit for being cool, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna expose nobody in here, right? But like, I remember I was talking to somebody about my drug use, right? Mm-hmm. And my other friend, right? Mm-hmm. He was saying, well, I mean, if you guys are saying drugs are cool, then I must take them, right? So we were like. <clears throat> So we were like, me and my friend, me and my other friend, right? We were just like, yo, 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 that's not what we're saying at all, right? So don't be a follower, you know what I'm saying? Be a leader, you know what I'm saying? Because if you become a leader, right? If you become a leader, there's a chance that somebody will better their lives because of you. But if you keep following in the people footsteps that can't better their lives, you know what I'm saying? That can't better You're their lives. You're just gonna you know ruin saying? your own life, bro. Exactly. You gonna throw your life away. You gonna throw your life away, getting caught up in some stupid. Next thing you know, you gonna be you gonna be behind bars, calling your mama like, "Mom, I was being a follower. Help." That's what I was. Yeah, that's yeah, no, that's exactly shit. where I was going. Yo, real shit, real quick though. Don't yeah, don't be a sheep though. Like I'm like what Bryce said. Don't be a sheep because if you're a sheep, you you ain't shit. You know, if you're gonna follow someone just because you think that shit's cool. Who are you better than? Now, let me explain this, right? Having mm-hmm. your homie slash brother's back is not being a follower, right? That's you having their back. You know what yeah. I mean? Especially if you know that the other person's in the wrong. That's you not wanting to get them, let them be pushed over or wanting to them to lose a fight. You know what I'm saying? That's them. Like, I'm not telling you to jump nobody because, you know, don't do that. But, like, I'm saying, like, you helping a friend is not being a follower that's actually becoming a leader you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because you know what you're helping your friend you know what i'm saying that friend's not helping you and i'm not trying to say yeah. that friend's following you but like you're helping the friend you know what i'm saying you're the you're the leader in that situation right Facts. yeah that's like that's that's like that's like if bryce was getting jumped and i jumped in i'm not being a follower that's that's just i i would be becoming a yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. No, I don't got. I don't got friends. I got brothers and sisters. Let's get it straight, man. Facts. Facts, bro. Straight. Y'all Facts. consider y'all y'all are my brothers now. Y'all ain't my friends. Y'all are my brothers, and if I consider y'all brothers, I ain't finna play about y'all. No cats. Facts, brother. It, it, it's the people that you hold close. They're not just friends. If there's a higher level that not a lot of people want to talk about. There's a higher level of 
who you are to people and who the people are to you, that matters right. so much that people no. sleep on, man. All right, so I'm gonna say this next, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to know your guys' opinion when I say this, right? Somebody, okay. somebody wise told me, right? Sometimes time is all you have with people. You know what I'm saying? Because people change. So sometimes the time. Oh that yeah, you have yeah, them, that's so true, bro. That's 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 you just it. That's just time that you have with them. You know what I'm saying? That's to better your knowledge and to show you what to do and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful people came in your lives and don't hate them for leaving. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes time is all you have with people. So, hey, if you know this person for a long time, but like he's toxic, you know what I'm saying? Don't hesitate to cut them off. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, you'd be like, oh, but I feel bad. I know this person forever. So what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people will change. So what you don't mean what? No, what you don't miss, right? Because you say you'll miss them. No, you you won't miss them. You'll miss the you miss the past. Them, you know what I'm saying? You'll miss the memory of them. That memory of them is not them anymore. You know what I'm saying? People change due time. Yeah, man. Oh, oh. Oh, man. It's about to be 11, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me see how much. Y'all want. Y'all trying to. It's been 33 minutes. Good shit. Y'all trying, trying to switch over to the other subject? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, all right. Father, so. Father, 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 all right, so I feel like being, I feel like, all right, what I was saying before, right? I'm going to transition into it. That's why I wanted to do it. What I was saying before, right? Helping, like, what this the topic that we originally started off with was being successful, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the next question that I have for the people that's in this podcast and for you guys, the viewers, the next question I have is, do you think being a father, do you think having a father figure in your life will better yourself? And do you think that's important? I'll, can I can I start off with it with this one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah I say. So yeah. I would say yes. It yes. It is very 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 important because I'm gonna let y'all know something about me. I'm gonna let y'all know something personal about my life. And this is for everybody. All y'all people that don't know me. Yeah, y'all go y'all go realize it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. So. At the age of five, when I was like five, six year old, my mom had me at 15, mind you. My dad was 17. My mom left when I was five years old, and I had to stay with my my great aunt, who I'm still staying with now, who ended up becoming a psychotic, mentally abusive, just evil, wicked old old lady. And my father, who 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 wanted to be in my life, wasn't allowed to be in my life on account of. Her, my great aunt, who I live with, she's the reason why he couldn't be in my life. I found out I've been lied to my whole life that my father didn't want me, he didn't love me, and I met, I, I, I reached out to him again, and it turns out he does love me, he does want to be in my life, and he, he loves me, he, and he keeps telling me whenever I'm ready to stop being afraid of, of, of my family and actually willing to come into his arms, I'm always welcome. He told me when I since I'm 18 now, he said, son, let me know when you ready to stop listening to them and come and actually come hang with your dad. And my and and it's like crazy because like because it's I, I know a lot of kids, bro, and being in the hood, bro, you know a lot of kids who ain't got their dads. You know a lot of kids who ain't got their dads, bro. And like Fox. my 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 I got so many friends that be telling me they don't like their dad, they fight their dads and and all this shit and it's like and some some people and dads is dead and it's like what i want to say to to the people that's in this podcast and the people and the viewers if y'all if y'all dad's not around don't don't y'all wait until y'all hear his side of the story before y'all feel the way that y'all want to feel about it don't always don't always let what mom what mom's saying to you always be the full truth and the full truth to the story Cause sometimes, mom. Sometimes mom could be the re. Mom could be the reason he left half the time. Mom Yo, could be the reason he left. What's up? Be clear. I just wanted to say, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing that happened to you happened to me not too long ago, right? Mhm. Mm and it, it it went down the right way. Like I lived with him for like eight months, eight seven months, right? Mhm. Mm and I mean. 
he yeah he, he wanted to be in my life and stuff but like since like you since he wasn't in my life since birth he doesn't really know how to raise a child right so i i don't this is I, i'm pretty sure i talked to you about this before you know what i'm saying like he's a drunk and stuff but like i'm saying yeah you what told I'm me saying, about him you tell me about him yeah but what i'm saying is like i don't hold i, I don't hold grudges against them you know what i'm saying because they're just they're ignorant and i don't mean that in a like bad way they literally have a lack of knowledge of something you know what i'm saying so it's better to not hold hate in your heart you know what i'm saying and just to like forgive them forgive but don't forget you know what i'm saying right forget but don't forget yeah yeah oh that's that's another thing um but back to what i was saying though like like i gotta what i was saying was don't let don't let what mom is telling you though but still everybody don't let don't let what mom telling you about dad be the whole truth and like be everything that y'all think think about him like don't let her control your opinion of your father because at the end of the day your father could want to be in your life who knows your mom your mom because it's a lot of women out here a lot of women are crazy all women are crazy all women are bipolar she could have she who knows she could have got a restraining order on him right. anything can happen like don't 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 just think that your father doesn't love you and doesn't want to be in your life your pop still love you just because he didn't just because he didn't want to get you them jordans on your birthday on christmas the holidays don't mean that he don't love you he just couldn't afford it at that time hey real quick though sometimes we don't have you know the chance to get to know his side of the story you know and yeah yeah i know i know i know that's i was finna get to that too i was finna get to that if you let me finish <laughs> My bad. Uh, no, no, I ain't, I ain't coming out disrespectful. I'm just saying, like, so, and and if you don't get that chance to find out about him, to find out, if you don't get that chance, what I would say to everyone is, don't ever hold anything against him, even though he, even though he may not be on this earth, he may not be on this earth with you no more. Don't hold it against him. Don't hold, don't hold anything against. Don't hold anything against your pops. Don't hold anything against him. Don't make it seem like your dad w was a piece of crap. Because you may have been fed that information at a young age and then grown, getting older, you may not have got to know him. What I would say is, you pray. You pray. You pray every day. You think, you talk to him. You talk to him. You visit his grave. You talk to him, tell him how your life is going. And when you, and when you see him again, because every time you lose someone, you're gonna see them again. When you see him again, that's when you ask him why. That's when you ask him for his side of the story. If you can't, if you can't get his side of the story here on Earth, you'll get it in, in a better place. That's that's what I was saying. That's why that's why I was saying it's better not to hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't really know the full story, and he could easily just be ignorant to the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like he could not know about the situation or how you feel at all. Right, and and, and not only that, not only that. Sometimes some some sometimes relationships just get bad, and like who knows? Maybe 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 when your mom got pregnant, you know, dad. Maybe maybe she left that left that and didn't and didn't let him know and didn't let him know about you. Right. That that happens sometimes, you know. That happen that happens sometimes. So half the time, while y'all may be thinking y'all your your dad or whatever don't love you, your dad might not even know you exist, bro. Facts. Oh, real stuff. Your dad, your dad might not even know that he a dad. For real. So don't don't ever hold don't ever hold grudges don't ever don't ever hold grudges and don't ever think that that you know he just don't care about you he ain't thinking about you he might not even know about you he might not even know about you until years later I'm gonna speak I'm gonna speak and if, on my and if you and if y'all kids my bad Bryce but look I'm a, I'm gonna finish it up with, uh with this. And, and if y'all kids end up being those cases where y'all was left on somebody's doorstep by your mother or father and got adopted, if you could reach out to your parents 
you got you should hear their side too because sometimes people with adopted parents adopted parents could be evil too they, they could tell you lies about your biological parents too don't ever don't ever hate your parents and don't ever think that they don't love and care about you because right. at the end of the day at the end of the day they could at the end of the day they probably did what was best the best thing that they could do for you at that time maybe their lives weren't together yet all right i'm gonna i'm gonna speak on my behalf on why i think having a father be figure in your life is important right mm -hmm. well at least why it would have been important to me right i feel like i would have grown up with more discipline right i feel yeah. like i would have grown up with a lot more knowledge about life you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. a lot more things that i should do as a man and what i should not do as a man instead of actually like learning it the hard way and going through the mistakes you know what i'm saying but like uh i feel like that's why it's important for me to have a, pa a father figure right i feel like that's important i feel like it's important to have to especially especially if you're a guy right I mean, if you're a girl, it's, it's it's very important, too. But, like, if you're a guy turning into a man, like, in teenage years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. Um, single... My bad, Bryce. I ain't, mean to, I ain't mean to interrupt you, but I just wanted to give some insight real quick. I'm gonna let you finish off. But, mm -hmm. um, what I wanted to say was, single mothers y'all doing... Any single mothers that may listen to this podcast, y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all doing the best y'all can do. But, at the end of the day... It's you're a woman and, and and this is not trying to be sexist or or try to offend you in any type of way But you can't you can't show a boy how to be a man That's facts. That is facts. You could raise a man. Yeah, but you can't show you him could actually you you could you can raise a man But you can't put him on that path that an actual man could put him on does, you know? Right, right exactly yeah, I feel that. And to all the single mothers if you are listening, you know, I praise y'all because y'all are superheroes man yeah, yeah, for sure. Like y'all make y'all make y'all make something out of nothing. Y'all make something out of nothing, and y'all y'all put y'all everything into spoiling us and making us feel loved. Y'all y'all put y'all put y'all soul y'all put y'all soul and heart in and everything y'all worth into us. Yeah, and you 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 can make a man, but like they were saying, you can't like. You, you can show him, you could you okay okay if they like saying you can't make a man i can say i say this about single moms y'all can make a compassionate and loving man yes that is true a single mother can make a very very compassionate smart young man yeah you, you can you can make can, a, can do much much more yeah a father figure can show them how to how to really toughen up and, and get ready for when things get really serious facts right. yo i'm not trying to be i'm, I'm okay. not trying to be i'm not trying to be sexist right mm -hmm. and when i say when i say this I, I promise you i'm not trying to be sexist right but like yeah moms right like mothers mm -hmm. like especially single mothers right would they show men how to love right that's what they show men is how to love right and and some and some some single moms right they don't have any mm -hmm. choice they have to they have to be the dad for them you know what i'm saying but they don't really know what they're doing because they're not a man you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i i feel like it's important i feel like it's important to have a fatherly figure in your life just so you can have a clear so just so you could just so you could be like taught to real life you know what i'm saying just so you could be showed real life because uh, because all right if you notice and i feel like it's scientifically researched right it's like i think it is but like a lot more of single parents are protective over their children right it's single moms right like mm -hmm. if you have a father figure in your life right they will show you what it's like to be in the real world you know what i'm saying you're dependent on yourself as a man right you're supposed to well i'm not gonna say you're supposed to but like you're 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 quote unquote job or not job but like your quote fuck i'm just gonna say your quote unquote job right is to is to is to take care you know what i'm saying you're you're, you're it's to protect you know what i'm saying protect your family protect you take care of your family you know what i'm saying that's your job as a man you know what i'm saying and mothers they they they, they do teach that you know what i'm saying but like they don't teach you how to be like 
as tough as a guy could teach you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, I ain't gonna lie, and, and, and I kind of want to add another subject to this, Bryce. Alright. Um, this, this kind of related to parents in general. Do y'all think beating y'all kids actually helps them? It I depends do. on I what do. you mean by beating. I do. I'm talking about, like, like. In general, when it comes to disciplining your kids, I'm talking oh, about I'm talking yes. about beat I'm talking about beating your kid like they're a runaway slave. I'm talking about leaving marks on them when it's a stitch the car, not just a oh, simple no, spoken or a smoke. No, that, no, that's, that's no. I thought you meant like disciplining isn't like a normal weapon if you do something. Yeah, bad. I thought yeah, I thought you meant like No, that. no, no, no. Oh no, man. Look, I come from a black black household. Man, you get beat like a runaway slave being disrespectful around here. I mean, I could see, I could, all right, my input on this, right, is, like, all right, my input on this, right, is, mm -hmm. they don't, like, because you're raised by, I'm guessing, women, right? I, like, like oh, I was raised, them. I was, I was raised in the house of women, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 another, right, yeah right. that's another reason why I don't really fight as much. I feel like if my dad was more in my life, I be I get into way more fights. I don't fight like that just because I grew up around so many women. All right, hey. all right so I feel like all right. Look, me personally, right? Mhm. Mm I feel like as all right. I I feel like the reason why like women slash mothers do that, right? Is because mm -hmm. they don't really know any other way. You know what I'm saying? And that's not that's not them. Be, that's not them being like. Like, like retarded, you know what I'm saying? That's just them actually not knowing the situation and being ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't, yeah, I I don't know really what like you using mean. the word ignorant for something like this because it sounds so rude. But like, if you really think to the definition of ignorant, it means not knowing, like a lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And 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 it's like, it's like I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. When I become a parent. I really don't think I'd really be able to have the heart to whoop my kid at all, bro. For real. Only thing I do is take stuff away from them and like 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 literally just take all the stuff out their room and take it away for it and lock it up. And I feel like that's why you need a fatherly figure too in your life, is so you could actually show tough love you know what i'm saying because if you think about it giving whoopings you know what i'm saying like if a parent's giving a whoopin to you that's that is that's tough actually love. that's no not, that's not only tough love that also drives kids into doing what they do now and being disrespectful because right. they want to get away they want to get away from you so bad because you keep beating the shit out of them they want to get away from you they don't like you because you beat them instead of actually taking time to listen to their side of the story or listen to what they have to say and actually giving them a different type of punishment. Cause you always resolve, if you always resolve to beating them, they're not gonna want to be around you anymore. I feel like at a certain age, you should stop. I'ma say that. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah, like at, at a certain age, age, I would say, I would say at a certain age, you, you should stop. My parents, yeah. they still, be, they still be acting like they want to do that to me, but they don't kind of. But they still be trying to like pick up a stitch across stuff. My mom tried to pick up a freaking hammer on me before, bro. What? She had I a freaking once, hammer. No, I she had a. I had a knife out. I'm a, but but I don't know. I think it's because I'm a big dude, and I guess she could see. I guess she could see her stuff getting pushed by me on the kind of her trying to swing on me with a stitch cord of me moving out the way. Yeah, but like a freaking hammer, bro. I remember I had a knife out to my throat before. Your mom did that. Like, it was, yeah, but like it was by accident. She didn't mean to, but yeah. What it you mean she didn't mean to? Was, she was yelling at me, right? And she got all close up to me, and then if we were eating steak, and like the knife was just in her hand, that's what and she got close to me, and that's what happened. She ain't cut you, did she? Oh no, hell no! <laughs> Damn, I'm not. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but like you cut me, bro. That's raps. Like, <laughs> like I'm, oh, that's that's, that's, that's that's what you go have to throw hands with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's that's raps. Like you cut me <laughs> on my neck. Oh, mom, mom, we, hey, mom, 
Mom, I know I'm your son. You, you, brother, and if you could take me out, you might have to take me out because I need my fate. Facts. <laughs> no cat. Uh, oh, um, so like, how do you do your outro though? Oh, all right, so, but I wanted to, all right, I want to give a special shout out to the 808 shop, our sponsor, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you're trying to get clothes like from A list celebrities such as Trippy Red, content creator Reggie Baby, and NLE Chapa, if you're trying to get A listed, A lister clothes, you know, A -st star, you know what I'm trying to say, A list clothes, you know what I'm saying? That's the place to go to, you know what I'm saying? The the promo code is dumbass15, only the real fans would know why it's called that, but yeah, it's dumbass15, you get 15% off, that's guaranteed. Um, I want to say thank you for Logan, because, you know, he was in here, but he had a bounce. And I want to say thank you to Malik for joining. Hey, I, and and by the way, everybody, I'm thinking about becoming, um, I'm thinking about becoming a part of this podcast, too. We would love to have <laughs> No cap. No cap. But yes, yeah, smash the like button in the comment section if you really want him to, you know, join up. Show him some appreciation. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm funny too, so like next time next time I come in, y'all might see me on my comedy tip, man. No cats. Alright, well that's all we got for today though. Um Hope we opened your mind a little bit while you were paying attention, you know what I'm saying? Listening, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, thank you for, you know, joining in. Um I appreciate it. So yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.